so with men in fertility, in the obese habitus, we see increased erectile dysfunction, increased scrotal temperature, increased rates of obstructive sleep apnea, which affect nocturnal testosterone levels. We see decreased sperm levels, as, as well as sperm quality, as well as sperm volume. And we're also seeing increased estrogen. There's a linear relationship between, inverse linear, linear relationship between BMI and testosterone levels. So we know that higher BMI levels are associated with lower testosterone levels than men. We see higher insulin levels as well as leptin levels. So in obesity and fertility, in women, we see decreased receptivity of the endometrium. We see atresia of the early follicle. We see higher levels of TNF, free fatty acids, increased levels of interleukins, leptin, estrogen, as well as androgen, all leading to infertility. So again, how does high insulin levels or insulin resistance affect fertility? Well, we know it decreases sex hormone binding globulins, <laughs> which decrease the level of testosterone and estrogen. We see a lower levels of FSH, as well as luteinizing hormone, all leading to poor ovulation or no ovulation.